Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to share with you step by step how to implement and get started with minimally invasive foot surgery. As I said in this video, I'm going to share with you step by step on how to implement minimally invasive foot surgery in your practice. Uh, step by step. So relax. I'm going to relax myself. I brought my iPad here and then I'm going to go step by step. Number one, step one, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You're like, what TJ? Uh, you're asking me to subscribe? Yes, I'm asking you to subscribe to my channel. But there is, here's a why. I am sharing not only minimally invasive foot surgery, right tips on how to do certain techniques uh, instrumentation equipment that is needed for minimally invasive surgery and office-based surgery but also before and after of many patients of mine also you know i still practice what i preach so i have mis uh, hybrid concierge practice in chicago area so you will see many patients of mine sharing their experience on kind of concierge uh, model practice along with minimally invasive foot surgery. Um, I also cover non-surgical uh, non-surgical treatment solutions as well so um, you will get benefit. Also I talk about medical marketing. You see medical marketing is very different for, from typical other marketing form like e-commerce or realtor or you know so medical marketing needs to be uh, focusing on certain things uh, unique from other marketing channel so you know um, by listening to these with my youtube channel it'll continue to nurture your mindset shift You've heard this, where you focus, it grows, right? If you focus on negative things, negative things will happen more often. If you focus on building your dream podiatry practice all the time with a good materials and good resources and good um, coaching, you will grow. Um, and also I talk about ethical persuasion, which is essential for building a solid communication skills with your patients. You see, even if you have a beautiful treatment solution, if you don't know how to convey your message and communicate with your patient, your patients will not understand fully about your treatment solutions and they're not going to say yes to your treatment solution. So I covered those in my YouTube videos. Are, they, are, are, are those enough reasons for you to subscribe? I think so. So if you haven't done so, there's a button somewhere there, red button, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So you don't miss out my updates because I'm planning to I've been doing this, but I'm continuously going to uh, produce weekly YouTube videos for podiatrists. So by uh, you subscribing, you're not going to miss out and always focus on building your podiatry practice. Sounds good? So that's step one. Step two, understand the instrumentation of minimally invasive surgery. It is uh, very unique if you are typical traditional open trained surgeon which I was I was traditionally trained for many years and when I found MIS the instrumentation and you know I mean the the idea of using your hands are completely different so it's very important for you to understand the proper instrumentation how we as a MIS surgeon utilize um, the particular instrument Right, so you need to get to know instrumentation. This includes power uh, drills, right? Power surgical drill set, and like mini C arm, which will help you visualize where you're cutting. 
in like some other instrumentation like um, mini elevator, um, curette, the osteotome knife, like a small one, micro one. We're not using big one. Obviously, incision pores are two to three millimeters, right? So you need to understand these concepts and what type of instrumentation you use. So that way you don't waste your money on wrong instrument set. And then you need to learn how to utilize it, right? So one thing is you get those uh, from proper resource, but then second, you need to learn how to utilize it. Step number three, attend the cadaver lab. I mean, this is like no-brainer, right? You are cutting bones and soft tissue through two to three millimeter incision portal. Nothing beats for you to actually learn and improve hands-on skills with the cadaver. Now, cadaver lab, it has to make sense. If you don't have your own cadaver leg at the cadaver lab event, you're gonna be just watching. I mean, you might as well not come, not going to cadaver lab, unless you can actually get hands-on with your own cadaver leg, with the instrument set properly, and proper training, and proper instructors who's well-known MIS experts will help you guide your hands step-by-step, step, attention to detail, that type of cadaver lab obviously is essential. So you will gain some confidence and deeper understanding of how minimally invasive bone procedure and soft, soft tissue procedures work. Without knowing this, obviously it could be potentially dangerous to your patients and to your practice if you do not learn the proper techniques uh, from well-known and proven cadaver lab events and obviously proper instrumentation, it, it is difficult, right? It takes a learning curve, steep learning curve. My mission is to shorten that learning curve for doctors I'm working with. Uh, number four, find a mentor or mentors and invest in mentorship program. Why? Because we don't have much time for you to uh, try on your own. And also legal responsibilities as a practice owner or a surgeon practitioner. You know, I mean, when I started MIS, there was no mentorship program. So I had to take I had to take time off my work and I had to travel to 40 plus visits to find these MIS experts. I mean, obviously it took me time, energy, money, um, those opportunity costs that I couldn't see my patients while I'm traveling. So after I became proficient uh, in MIS and I see the huge benefits for my own practice, my own lifestyle, and for our patients, I created, it kind of happened organically, meaning naturally. I created consulting coaching program for our colleagues. So it started small, one-on-one -on -one first and small group and then it became bigger group, and then it became annual cadaver lab events and fully proven mentorship program. Um, the best benefit for you, you don't have to do on your own. Trial and error, and you're not sure if you're doing it right, and you have to take all this time off. What if I have that proven silver plate for you, You'll have fully developed online course you can watch 24 seven. You can come to our weekly coaching call where we focus all these different MIS cases done by our members so you learn from each other. And I also provide private group cadaver lab, uh, basic, intermediate, and also advanced level cadaver lab. Every cadaver lab I host and organize each member 
get their own cadaver leg so you can practice and improve your skill set with your own along with super detailed hands-on guidance by experts. I mean, you'll see when you come to my program page, etc., you'll see uh, the doctors and colleagues I worked with, they share their experience, so I don't have to explain. My point is that don't do it alone, especially MIS, which requires pretty steep learning curve. I give you shortest pathway. So follow along the pathway, you'll be able to implement MIS within six months, safely and effectively. Step five, start with relatively simple MIS procedures, meaning soft tissue procedure, exostectomy of digital corn, um, hammer toe, uh, then you can move to like lesser metatarsal osteotomy or Taylor's bunion. I'm not advising you to start with more complex uh, osteotomy procedures right away, like revered in Aisham osteotomy, reverse V chevron osteotomy, uh, even base osteotomy of first met. And these requires at least, in my experience, help, helping hundreds of other colleagues at least two cadaver labs. You should invest in yourself at least two cadaver labs before you attempt to any type of more advanced osteotomy procedures. But that doesn't mean you gotta wait. I can safely guide you to start with simple incision portal and then go underneath that soft tissue, find the bone, bony bump eminence, and shave that down, file that down, takes about 10 minutes and suture or maybe no suture, uh, no, no crutches needed. Pretty much most patients do not need any narcotic painkiller and you can do it in your office-based surgery. Patients will love you so much and they're gonna start referring their family and friends how simple that you can help surgically but with a minimally invasive surgical option. Make sense? And the, another benefit, you will learn how to operate uh, workflow, which is SOP, Standard Operating Procedure, not only for yourself, but your staff, in case you do in your office space. You see, I'm a big proponent of training my doctors in our network so they can perform MIS procedures in their office-based surgery suite. Safe guideline, all the sterile procedures, sterile draping, uh, gown and gloving, you know, uh, autoclave everything. I mean, everything top quality, first class uh, experience in the office. You don't have to go to hospital. Patients do not have to travel to hospital. And you get reimbursed more by most insurance plans I mean, there's so much benefit for office-based surgery, right? So simple, more relatively simple MIS procedures you start with, you can get this going. You can get the feel, you can get the workflow, your staff will get the feel for it. Then as you improve your skill set with your hands developing more uh, tactile sensations of both hands, vibratory sensation that you feel the speed, um, you know, etc. where the burr is cutting to the bone and then even auditory sensation you can hear the speed of the drill I mean so you develop this sensation with MIS proper MIS uh, surgery techniques starts with the simpler procedures step six join the community of elite MIS surgeons for continuous support you cannot do this alone you know why? Because MIS is still relatively uh, kind of new, even if it's not new. You see most podiatry and podiatric surgeons trained open surgeon, open uh, surgery technique. Do you agree? So there are going to be still questions by open surgeons. There are going to be still 
debates and um, you know like kind of dazzling um, almost almost like strong questions back to MI surgeons and I don't want you to be in awkward position even if all of MIS procedures and surgery techniques that I train and help, I pretty much only use techniques that have been published by orthopedic surgeons and podiatric surgeons in well-known medical journal. So this way, at least it, have, it has social proof and authority than also proven procedures. Now, if you're trying to do this alone, it's tough. We're all busy, you know. I don't want you to make any mistake on in your implementing your MIS techniques. So we have built elite community of podiatric surgeons and orthopedic surgeons who understand minimally invasive foot surgery, who understand the benefits of it, techniques of it, and I gather everybody in our network. And we meet every week live over Zoom. Also, we have built over 1,000 MIS cases in our private membership portal, uh, category by category, you know, first ray, lesser med, hammer toe. So you can go in there and then you can search other doctors' cases and learn from it. I mean, how strong is that? Uh, instead of trying to do this alone, join the community of uh, MIS surgeons where you can trust and get support. Make sense? And then step seven, attend more cadaver labs. I told you kind of before, one cadaver lab is not enough, definitely. Uh, you need to join more than one. Most of my, most of my um, star students or the doctors who are very proficient in MIS, you know, they're very humble. And we all know there are rooms, room to improve, you know, for everybody. So, like even proficient doctor, uh, advanced MIA surgeons come at least once or twice a year. So I highly recommend to come to you know our private group cadaver lab if you join our network or well-known cadaver lab that is open to everybody. That's a minimum requirement for you. You need to come to MIS cadaver lab, learn from the best, and continue to build your skill set. You know, just like anything, this is a learning experience. You'll never stop learning. You'll pick up something new every time you come to Cadaver Lab. So I highly, highly recommend for you to continue to come to the Cadaver Lab. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, again, don't forget to subscribe, my, subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave me some comments. Uh, give me thumbs up. And then, you know, so this way you'll get most up to date the weekly YouTube videos that I'm going to be posting. And then, like I said in the beginning, you'll be continuously learning through this new journey to take your podiatry practice to the next level. And I believe minimally invasive surgery will be one of the most critical ones for you to equip for this modern era of podiatry world and this horrible healthcare system that we are facing that we cannot deliver the quality care to our patients um, so that you know you can you can basically you have to create your own destiny so instead of playing the insurance game like I did, like many doctors I worked with and I encouraged them to transform their practice, adapt to new environment, opt out of bad insurance plans and provide the best treatment solutions for your patients without sacrificing the quality. Okay, now if you want to learn more about details of my MIS mentorship program, or my mastermind where I talk medical marketing and how to build hybrid concierge model and uh, staffing, you know, how to save even like tax for your practice. We ha I run a mastermind group. So again, I have a MIS accelerator, MIFAS accelerator for MIS, and I have a mastermind where I help, you know, 
many doctors in a brainstorming way, harmonious way as a mastermind to help their business side and practice management side. And lastly, my mission, why am I doing this? My mission is to help colleagues, my colleagues, to increase their practice revenue and profits without adding more hours, without sacrificing your lifestyle. And I hope I can help you boost, increase significance of why you became a doctor and why you are helping patients. So again, I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next video.